So what you can also do is you can go ahead and generate references by using Gemini. So to do that, I'm going to go around over here and at the bottom, you can see that there are some reference lists. Let me just go ahead and copy this out and paste this out right here. And what I'm simply going to do is I'm going to say, uh, write these references, uh, references in the format of MLA referencing right here, just like this. So if I were to go ahead and do that right here, then it analyzes out the content right there. And then we'll try to list it out in MLA format. And you can see that this is what you have right here, just like this. So you can see that it um, listed out the author, the page and so forth right here. So I'm going to go around and uh, say, uh, create a, a MLA reference list out of this right here, just like this. And if I were to go ahead and do that, then you can see that I get the MLA reference list right there. So now I'm going to go around and say, now uh, write this, uh, this as AP reference list right here. Let's say, for example, if I were to go ahead and do that, then what happens is that it'll provide it out in AP reference list now, as you can see right here. Similarly, now, uh, now make it as a Harvard reference list right here, just like this. So I'm just going to go around over here and then press enter. And what happens is that now it'll produce it out as a Harvard reference list, as you can see right here, just like this. So that is how you can utilize Gemini to generate referencing contents as well. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.